This is uh, the ice rescue training that we're doing for the Arrowhead Volunteer Fire Department. And this is it, one of our instructors. So with ice this thick, I probably don't even need to use my feet. And this open area is here at Flint. He's showing how to get out with your own little ice fix. Now obviously, you know, if you're a smaller person, your upper body strength isn't as much, you're going to kick your feet just like you would on your self-rescue. Draw yourself out. If the ice is real thin, you may hit it and punch through. So you're going to have to judge that, you know. If the ice is thin and you're just punching through, you're just making your swimming hole a lot bigger. <laughs> so, each one of these suits has the ice all in them. You guys can flip them off if you don't want them so anymore. Eric Johnson, Ron Benson, and Star. We're going to be going in the water. Try both unassisted and assisted to get yourself in. What we'll do first is just each one of you guys can get in, get comfortable, see how you like it. Then we'll start working self rescue while they get ropes set up. And then we'll do a couple of rescues. I'll show you guys a rescue or two, and then we'll work our way into your rescues, and then rotate. Okay. So you want to take rope. This is the rest of our group. Whatever. There's Brent, our fire chief. Um, Melissa is one of the uh, trainers. Beware, he makes Bob's look back ugly, there. Easy. He's one of our Getting firemen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not at all. And there's Bill. But we're going to get all of this and show the scenario. Get back over here in the water so they can see. I would recommend slide in the first time. Get comfortable with the suit. If you want to jump in, jump in. But remember, you guys get the suit wet. The rest of them are going to... Oh, wow. Look at that. That's even jumping off. You know, if I protect my chin and whatnot... The water still only came up to about my nose. Yeah. So you're definitely buoyant. Um, another thing, if you guys, if you guys are going to stand on this edge and you want to try to break through, fall in. What we try to say is, if you think you're going to at the edge where you're going to fall in, you want to kind of do something like this. So you don't go okay? under. Number one. Number one, it's going to slow you down, so you're not going to go and disappear. Number two, when you break, if that ice is right there and you're not protecting your face, you may get hit in the face. We actually had that happen once, where a kid was walking, we had real good ice for it. He fell through, hit his nose, got a cut on his nose. <laughs> so the potential is there. So if you guys are going to stand up and try to walk in or whatever, I just I would put it either here or just kind of tuck your, make your neck seal tight. So we got and Eric grow. and John and Star going to go ahead and go in. So Not sure if they're going to go ahead and drop in or just <laughs> sit and slide in, <laughs> but we'll see. Me too. So what we'll do is go ahead, whenever you're ready, you guys can slide on in here. Why don't you guys go one at a time? I think as far as it'll zip, it's, oh, okay. it's all the way up. Okay, You're not. okay here's Ron. He's going in. See how the air comes right up oh, to the top? So, I mean, okay, then we got Eric. Ice, I can pretty easily fold myself and zip a liner high. Eric's going to go in. So you guys could try to kind of swim around a little bit. I know it's going to be tight, but you can see the maneuverability is pretty... I just, thought I'd let, strange. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd let you guys know I'm videotaping this. Yeah. <laughs> would I try to Ron, right where you're at? Mm -hmm. I'm videotaping it. Transition myself to face forward. There you go. All right, now star. Slide in control. I'm trying to keep my feet under. Yep. See if you keep your feet under. I'm right here, so I'm not going to let you go. Oh yeah. Don't struggle, Eric. Yep. 
<laughs> so it's, it's almost like you want to kind of keep your feet a little bit, like keep your knees a little bend, yeah, a little bit to keep your feet kind of underneath yeah. your butt a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And then you kind of float a little higher. Keep, keep your knees bent, and then you won't try to switch. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> keep, keep your knees bent just a little bit and hang yeah. to the side. Oh, that helps. Then you want flip flop. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You keep your legs straight down, man. I start going back. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. Now, if you guys okay. see how warm it is, if it you is guys, warm. If you guys feel right along the edge, try not to get on that edge too much because I don't want to use that. If you guys feel right along the edge, go about two to 